What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've got a bunch of new mods, so we're going to get right into it. First up, we have an update for Marwell Manor. That's right, the map that we're on right now. Whole lot of things have changed. Man, we'll get a notebook out. Check this out. Milk and egg cell point triggers fixed. The huge land in between fields and outer area is now free and owned at startup. Now, we already own this. So, yep, there it is. Value zero dollars, even though we paid 17 million for it. That's insane. Lights on windows, steering lamp, placeable, etc. now come on earlier at 1930. I think before they were coming on around 20 hundred hours, something like that. Sheep will trigger improved. Bell straw point and workshop trigger improved for taller equipment. Very cool, very cool. Reset point put to the main farm, and we are going to check that out right now so I show you exactly where it respawns. Let's do a raw smash, and we're gonna jump in, find our raw smash. There it is. Reset and boom. Now that's a good reset point right there. That is perfect. Collision on butterflies removed. Yes. Pig fence has been fixed. The BGA clamp will be removed, so you can now place your own. Let's go take a look at that. Jump over here to the biogas plant. As you can see, it is gone. It is completely gone. Lights have been added to both yards inside and out. Data maps slash maps US slash environments maps. Errors in log fixed on PC. That is good. We did need that. Added a bit more detail around the farms. Grass now bends which is true. Check that out. Cow manure pit fixed with a new bunker model. Well, that's cool. See, we did delete the bunker. Let's go check that out. Where is it? 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 Right around in here. See, we've got a manure tether. And you can see it is uh, been placed around. Let's go into garage. I think we need to delete that. There we go. Well, that's pretty cool. I like it. That was awesome. Does the manure still spawn in here? I believe that it still does. So there's that, but we did a lot of modifications. This is our game save. So we'll have to come back in here and double check that just to make sure. BGA land is already owned on startup to stop issues with Southview silage bunker not saving. Let's take a look at that. Let's see, we don't have it owned, but again, we have a game save. So there is that. Tweaked cow triggers, added a cell manure point at rainbow stores, very cool. Added more grass contract fields and tweaked the BGA bell point and prices. Very cool, and no new save game required. That is a huge, huge thing right there. Moving on to the mods. First up is this guy right here. We got this yesterday, yeah, the, <laughs> the highs of Matt. Let's go check this out in store. You're going to find this in miscellaneous and is going to be one of the first things there. It is heating plant, $68,000. Well, wasn't that broken? Yes. Yes, it was. It was very, very broken. But today, today is a glorious day because tis not broken anymore. Works exactly the way it should, or at least the way you think that it would. And that whole thing right there, 752 bucks. Nice. Very cool, very cool. So it does work now. So if you guys want to use this, blows my mind that it went through testing that fast. This had to be an error on... <gasps> no, Giant's part. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, is what it is. Next up, we have the bag and lifter. It says it has tweaked the bag and lifter arm controls, added three point hitch control and added extra visuals when emptying bags. Now, this thing's very cool because now we can raise and lower this on our own. We don't need it to do anything. And we can still use it to raise and lower by hitting the left bumper and B or left or L1 and circle. So that is cool. We can do either one. And it does go much faster, it feels, whenever using the joystick controls. Either way, and of course, we can go up and down with it. And this is new. I didn't see this before. Maybe it's just me, but look at that. It goes out. I had no idea it went out. Again, maybe it's just me. Maybe not. But that's cool. That is neat. If it didn't before, there you go. If it did before, 
Well, there you go. Nonetheless, super, super cool. Next up, we have the U-Bunker Silo. Now, the U-Bunker Silo is pretty cool, but like, why? Damn me, me. It's just me. Let's check this out in silos. Let's go over to it. Right here it is, the U-Silo, $40,000. Boom, place it anywhere. I will tell you, it does not change the way the ground works below it. So if you place this like up here, for example, it is going to be up there. For <laughs> Let me show you. Let me just plop one down right there. So you've got all this room below it. And you will have to terraform up to it. Now, this could be beneficial to you. This may be the way you want it to be. You want it to be the way you want it. You don't want it to raise all the ground up around it and change everything. So that's good. Now, you will have to move it up. And as you can see here, we have done so. This will hold 2 million liters. You heard it right. 2 million liters. That is insane. That is huge. But pretty cool nonetheless. And for those of you guys that like to do silage, here's one more option for you. Here's a mod that has been an unofficial mod, not by Giants, for a long time. I think this came out in late November, early December for PC. But it is now out for console players. This is super cool. This is your Flegal SDS 350 flatbed trailer. That's right. We now have a legitimate flatbed trailer. Let's jump in. You can, well, do that. That's pretty much it <laughs> you could just do the straps let's take a look at it in store you're gonna find this in bailing technology you're gonna go to the right and here it is the flegal sds we can't do a whole lot to it we can change the wheel setup from these skinny standards to a little bit wider wide tires which are more like a trailer board tire and that is it those wheels are gonna cost you 600 bucks twenty eight thousand dollars is gonna get you that which i think is a very very good price for what it is nonetheless Super cool, and this is going to be very beneficial for those of you that like to move a lot of things at once. Up next, we have Silage Fork. Yep, that's right. Just Silage Fork. Look how far out this extends. Way farther out the, <laughs> the side. That's crazy. Let's take a look at it. You're going to find this in wheel loaders. This is a wheel loader implement only. Silage Fork, $4,100. Main color, any color you would want. You want yellow? Go for yellow. You want pink? Yo, that looks good. Yo, black and pink. Yeah. Throwing back to some goth days. There you go. I dig that. Yo, that's hot. That is hot pink right there. <laughs> but you can change that up. 5,000 liters. This thing will hold all the normal stuff that you would expect. And it goes nom, nom, nom. This is a chomper. There you go. Just like that. Now, of course, you don't need to have it chomped, but it makes it good. Now, will it dump out if it's chomped? No, it will not dump out if it's chomped, but as soon as you let that chomper go, there it goes. Just like that. And it's gone. <laughs> but the chomper, nonetheless, very cool, very awesome. This thing is going to be great. I love the way this looks. Um, it can also be used to pick up bales. As you can see, you've got teeth all around. I wouldn't try and pick up more than maybe four or five bells total with this guy. Square bells, circle round bells. You could probably pick up three wide, maybe two high without any issues. So if you got bells sitting around like that, I'm sure this would work good for you as well. Cool mod. This next mod is a little different, but still has its place because of this. That's right. We have an adjustable pallet fork now, and this will do, of course, bells as well. So if you got a pallet that's like that, go for it. If you want to get under there like this, go for it. This thing is cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's the silliest, dumbest little thing. But I'm just like... <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> it gives itself a standing ovation. That's awesome. Uh, you also get two other models as well. Uh, you get a double spike and a quad spike, which is still, nonetheless, there you go. Let's take a look at these. You're going to find these in front loaders. And it's got these same looks as pallet fork, 800 bucks all the way. Pallet fork, 800 bucks. So why would you not get the same thing? You can change it any color you would like. Let's go for a silly pea green on that one. And you go $200 to change the color. You got pallet fork, which is what we were using. You got bell fork small and bell fork big. 
Again, you can go for the two or the large. If you want all of these color options with everything, it's gonna cost you $350 for the options, bring your total to 1150 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad though. I dig this mod. Next up, we have the Amazon Senius 3002. This is a cultivator and you will find it in such places. Cultivator. Amazon Senius. Now we've got large models now. We have an eight meter. We've got a six meter. And now we have a three meter version of this. Do we have any more of that? Nope, nope, that's it. So we're getting a lot of these Amazons, which I'm not opposed to. I like them a lot. 100 horsepower, three meters, nine miles per hour. Costs you 12 grand. This is not a bad little starter. Take a look at it, drop it down, go. I mean, other than the fact that it's not doing it. Okay, there we go. I just wasn't in the field yet. So there you go. It works. Uh, we do have a 100 horsepower tractor on it right now. As you can see, yes, it works. Also, yes, we're having a bit of trouble even with a slightly uphill go with it we are having a bit of an issue getting up to that magic nine miles per hour nonetheless it's a good mod and it looks good it looks very good this was well done i am impressed on to what i would consider one of the cooler mods that we got today one of the more unique mods is the lizard 20 foot bell trailer this is a 20 foot refurbished bell trailer with krills manufactured by Lizard Engineering in <laughs> Kildar, Colorado, Ireland, used for moving bells and pallets of bulk material, which is exactly what we've got on here now. We got a couple uh, straw bells, we got a silage bell, uh, we got some herbicide, and of course, we have some oats. And you could take these off if you need. Boom, 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 boom. It works just like any other bell trailer that you've ever seen, but it looks awesome let me get some of this stuff off of here and show it to you not pretty but it worked <laughs> check this thing out oh it looks so cool one thing i will tell you is when you come through with the straps the straps are a little low because they go under whenever they're not being used they don't go over so as to not ruin the just i don't know it's, it's a beautiful trailer it's what it is let's check this out you're going to find this in bailing technology let's go over a little bit and here we go 20 foot refurbished flatbed, 8250. You're gonna come in here, rim color, any color you would like for the rims. We're gonna go black just to make it look cool. Wheel brand. We go lizard, which are twins. We go Nokian, which is more of a road tire. Or you can go trailer borg, which is more of a little fat tire, which is what we've got on our demo model. Design, you can go standard, new front krill, new front back front krill, all options. There you go. There's a thing on the bottom there. Can't really get my look on it, but it's just a little box. Just a little box, not on the left side, only on the right side. Still awesome. Very, very cool. Was there one other option that I missed? No, there's no, no. DJ doesn't miss stuff. <clears throat> Watch DJ probably miss something. Oh yeah, the registration. Totally forgot about that. Spin this around. So on the back, we have no registration. We've got in real life kid, uh, Kildar regular and temporary regular very cool very cool i believe we've got one of those so this is the temporary regular and if we get up on this it's clean silly p right there gotta get up on it make take a look but this is a good mod this is again one of my favorite mods that came out today next to last mod we got one more after this this is the fellow 14055 pro i'm never going to get that right ever 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 14055 whatever just Quit, take the zero out. Urgh. This is a 14 meter wind rower. That's really all it is. Let's take a look at it. You're going to go into wind rowers, and there it is. The fellow jurist can't do anything to it. 11 miles per hour, 14 meters, 130 horsepower required, 77,820 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. Thing is, it costs more. Look at that. More. Then the Lely Hibiscus 1515 CD Profi, which has a lower horsepower requirement and a higher working width. So as far as I'm concerned, this does not have its place. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. It looks good. It's a great mod, but because of the way they have 
put it in here. It's more expensive. Requires more horsepower. Smaller working width. That, to me, says, you know what? It's just not that worth it. But we're going to take a look at it anyway. The Unfold looks good. Man, that does look good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it coming out like that. There we go. So we can fold, we can lower, we can turn it on, all that good stuff. And we really can't do anything else with it. I thought maybe we could uh, raise one side, lower the other side, only use it like that. So doing headlands and that kind of thing. Nonetheless, still cool. Yep, can't do anything. And let's set that cruise on and rock with it. So again, it looks very good. Now, will it work with fast farming? Yes, it will work with fast farming. So if you guys do the fast farming tricks, this will work with your fast farming tricks. But again, it's smaller, it's more expensive. I just don't think that this is, is going to be the way to go. Now, we'll say this, drives a whole lot easier. I know the Laylee that we have in game drives awful. So this drive does drive pretty good. So that may be something to keep in mind. But again, we have a low horsepower tractor right now. Uh, it is not taking full advantage of everything that we can do here. If we had a higher horsepower tractor, we could definitely get all of this much faster. But nonetheless, it is a good looking mod and there's nothing wrong with it. There, there really isn't. And, and it may sound like I think there's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this mod at all. I just think in time I don't think it's going to be as cost efficient for you that's all I'm saying drum roll please <laughs> probably not going to put one in <laughs> this right here is the most game changing mod I don't know if I've ever seen this much of a game changer before but this is everything and anything other than silage and TMR the console players have been waiting for for years. This is the buying station for all fruit types. This is not all fruit types. This is basically a pig food feeder. That's all this is. But let me explain. We got wheat, barley, oats, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, seeds, straw, manure, fertilizer, lime. What? Um, that's a lot. First off, can't buy can't buy grass or hay, but you could buy straw here. You could buy seeds, sugar cane, sugar beets, potatoes. This right here is a pig food feeder. That's exactly what this is. Again, you can't buy pig food here, but you've got everything to do them. Wheat or barley, soybeans, corn, root crops. Yo. <laughs> um so there you go. Now, I've been told that this loads very slow. So we're going to click this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that that is the slowest thing on earth. Look at that little spout too. So yeah, this is going to take you a long, long time. Let's see. Would we be able to see 2000 right there? $82 for $2,000. let us go into straw. Could we make a profit off of this? on a normal day 136 bucks per thousand liters so yes we make a big profit off of that there you go well those are your console mods for today i hope you've enjoyed there's a whole lot of stuff here for everybody and all walks of farming simulator so well, with all that being said, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not, please subscribe. Uh, if you want any more information on these mods, I will have links to the mod hub down below. You can go check them out for yourself. There's a lot more information than what we talked about today linked in that website. So make sure you do. It's going to be titled Giants Mod Hub. Also, if you want to see what's in testing right now down below as well, there is a Giants Forum update or Giants Mod Update. Something Giants Forum Update Mod blah, blah, blah. It's going to be linked right below the mod hub. Make sure you click that. Go check it out. Join the Giants Forum. Join the conversation over there. You will learn so much about Farming Simulator in there. It's not even funny. Whether you think you know everything or not, that place is for everyone. So, that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.